Starring Annie Barger and Marshall Thompson. Created by Jess Oppenheimer. It's not, a, it's not important. Well, tell me, so I can see how important it is. Not well, the same guy, honey, the new office manager. Oh, that Mr. Klein. Well, yeah, I didn't like him from the moment I saw him, and he knows it. But you said that you were going to pay no attention to him. Oh, that snide Clyde, <laughs> sneaky way of, he has of questioning you about your expense account. And he just manages to tilt his desk lamp so it shines right in your eyes. Of course, it isn't too difficult because he's got the legs of the chair sawed off so that you're sitting there with your knees in your face and he's looking up at you. Well, do head to him. Why do you care if he asks you a question about your expenses? Well, it's a little more than that, honey. It seems that the books are a little short and he thinks I did it. He thinks you cut the books off? <laughs> books being short means that some company money is missing. Have you seen my expense account? I Money's missing and he thinks that you do this? He can think anything he wants to. Honey, I, I, where's my expense account? I left it right here. I could have sworn it was... What does it look like? It was a long piece of yellow paper. Oh, uh, was it big? Uh, big enough to put some uh, garbage in it? <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could... Oh. Garbage? Garbage, <laughs> oh, no, Oh, well, you, maybe you can find it in the kitchen. Pardon me, ma'am. Would you have any work for an able-bodied man? Oh, 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 what's the matter? Oh, oh it's what's nothing, the matter? nothing. If you could spare a few pennies so I could get a bite to eat. Oh, yes, yes. I, I don't have any pennies. Well, I don't insist on pennies. Any other point? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I, I don't have any change. That's perfectly all right, ma'am. I'm sorry to act like this. I, I can't understand it. I ate only four days ago. <laughs> you haven't eaten for four days? Around four. But don't worry about me. I'll... Oh, oh, oh. oh. You must eat something right away. Come and see. I'll help you to the table. Bless you, ma'am. Bless you. Yeah, I'll help you, sir. Here are the cereal. You, you eat all of them. And, and here, here, there, there is some preserve. And, and the rose. I, I, I'll put you some coffee here. 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 Is, is there something else I, I can get for you? Well, uh... A glass of muscatel would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> to take the chill out of the bones, you know. Well, I'm sorry. I, I don't have any. Oh, but listen. My husband, he has an old warm coat. I get it for you. Oh, you're much too kind. Boy, oh, honey, I must be cracking up. <laughs> was in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> well, let's see, Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> I don't believe we've met. Fred Barnesdale. <laughs> Angel, do you mind telling me who this is? Fred Barnsdale. I know. <laughs> what is he doing here? Oh, 
Johnny, Johnny, he, he has not eat for days, Johnny. He fell down on our doorstep almost. Well? Oh, Johnny, he, he has nothing and we have so much. Well, we won't have by the time he's finished. Um... <laughs> uh, have you tried working, uh, Mr. Barnsdale? Oh, I've applied for work time after time, but no luck. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can help. Oh? Uh, just what sort of work do you do? Uh, I'm a male model. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you be interested in going into the uh, construction field? Uh, perhaps. You see, we need a lot of men for the uh, pick and shovel detail. My goodness, will you look at the time. <laughs> I have to catch a train at 10.30. Well, he, he came in very weakly, but when you mentioned the pick and shovel, he went out very strongly. <laughs> Honey, as long as there are people like you, people like him will never miss a meal. You are a soft touch. Now, do you think you've learned something? Hmm? Oh, yes, Johnny, I did. And, well, from now on, I will only be a, a hot touch. Good. <laughs> Like it here. It's a very pretty restaurant, isn't it? Yeah, I can't say much for the service, though. I wonder where that waitress is with our lunch. Oh, well, now, Susie, don't scold her. She looks like she has a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh. Uh, miss? <laughs> miss? I'll be right with you, Mom. <laughs> here we are, sir. Well, it's about time. Now, what is this? Uh, uh, and a bit of all right, too. I, I ordered white fish. Oh. Are you quite sure of that? White. White fish. Oh. <laughs> Better take the stuffed cabbage, sir. I saw the white fish. <laughs> Maybe I will try the stuffed cabbage. Very wise. <laughs> I want a stuffed cabbage here. Oh, Coo, I gave that bloke your lunch, and I gave you his. There <laughs> 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 we are. Here's your white fish, sir. I don't want the white fish. Oh, well, that's what you ordered. But you told me not to take it. Oh, don't listen to me. You've got to have a mind of your own. <laughs> cream turkey half an hour ago. I'm so sorry, sir. Cream turkey it will be. Oh, cream turkey! Oh, here, here, take it. You can, you can take it. Bring it there. Oh, thank you, Harry. Mom. I should have let her go a long time ago. Oh, oh. Oh. Hello? 
anymore. Come on, I insist. Come on, get down and work it out. Oh, well, thank you, Mom. Oh. <laughs> what, what is your name, eh? Cassie Turnbull. Oh, well, <laughs> it is very nice to meet you, Cassie. And uh, this is my friend, uh, Susie Carpenter. And, and I am Angelique Smith. Uh, how do you do? <laughs> oh, this is very decent of you, lady. <laughs> how long uh, uh, have you been in our country? Oh, just a few weeks. My husband and I came over to work as domestics. Up until last Friday, my brother Herbert was looking after us by playing the violin in a gypsy restaurant. Oh, <laughs> <that's nice. laughs> Then Friday, they sacked him. He burned his arm walking into a shish kebab. <laughs> Someone is systematically swindling the company. Now I think I have the whole situation in hand. Come in, Smith. <laughs> Hold it, Frank. Well, if it's a personal call, I'll uh, come back. Uh, no, no, it's I... an old friend, uh, Police Captain Mallory. <laughs> He's fascinated by our little case. Sit down and relax. Hi. <laughs> well, no, thanks. I, I don't think we'll need any police help on this little caper. It's uh, clearly an inside job. And I've got a very good idea who it was. You know how a guilty man always gives himself away? The mouth is suddenly dry. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they smoke one cigarette after another. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this boy is going to slip the noose right around his own neck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back a little later. Right, fella. Sorry I kept you so long, Smith. Well, it's an intriguing little crime. If it is a crime. Mm, there's always that possibility, isn't there? <laughs> well, <clears throat> here's my expense account. If you find that everything has been properly itemized. This will tell me nothing. You're not the kind of fellow who pads his own expense account. I'm not. No small potatoes for you. I peg you as a young, bright fella who isn't going to steal nickels and dimes. When you steal something, it'll be a bundle, right? Are you <laughs> accusing me? No, not yet. Well, either accuse me or keep your big mouth shut. Don't try the big bluff on me, Smith. I happen to be a very good judge of character. So am I, and I judge you to be a character who's about to get punched in the nose. Now, wait a minute, Smith. What's going on here? Mr. Nelson, I am fed up with this two-bit Sherlock Holmes. If this company doesn't trust me, they can get somebody else. Well, now, just a minute, Johnny. I... Oh, if you want to apologize, I'll be home. 
That's our boy, Mr. Nelson. Johnny? What are you talking about? Have you got any evidence? Well, not yet, but I can smell it. Well, the way you smell doesn't prove a thing. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get proof. Well, I'm going to check your books myself tonight. I can't believe that any of our employees would do a thing like this. Smith's our boy. I'll stake my reputation on it. You'll stake your job on it, too. <laughs> No, 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 I, I'll have it for him. Oh, oh, beg pardon, Mum. It's Cassie Turnbull Charlie. about. Oh, 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 this is me husband and me brother. Uh, oh, Red, welcome in. Thank you. Thank you, Mum. Thank you. Mom. Thank what you. are you blokes doing here? Uh, we got some good news. That's how the agency found us a job. Oh, that is wonderful, oh, Cassie. You don't mean it. It's the truth, old dear. It's the That's truth. right, and I'll start myself tomorrow. So you don't have to slave no more, you can just top home and take care of us. That's right. Oh, indeed, <laughs> Andy, that the GPT who took you back? Uh, no, ma'am. I'll be playing with the string quartet in the proper posh hotel. It's a real swell place, where the waiters carry food on trays instead of on those blooming spears. <laughs> oh, well, Cassie, that is good news. Yes, and we owe it all to you. To me? Yeah, uh, nice things have a way of multiplying themselves. You did something nice for Cassie, so good fortune starts to come to all of us. No, no, Oh, I yes, yes, nothing. yes, you broke our spell of bad luck. Oh, uh -oh. he's right, Mum, and we're in your debt for it. Oh, well, no, you don't have to say Here, I know how we can pay the little lady back. Ow! 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 <laughs> we can all give her the, a present of one night's work. Tonight she can have a, a butler and a maid. And a gypsy violinist. That's right. What a lovely thought. <laughs> like a duchess, which you are in your art, dear. Oh, no, no, I don't want you to do that. Tonight you can live it up like blinking royalty. <laughs> oh, but I don't think I can accept it. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, Johnny. And now look, honey, don't, don't be angry, but I got finally fed up with Clyde and his slide insinuations, and I told him unless he apologized, I quit. You did not. Yep, but I feel great. Look, I'm going to pick up a bottle of champagne, and I'll bring it by the house, and we'll celebrate. I don't know what tomorrow may bring, but tonight we live. Oh, yes, Johnny, come home, hurry, quickly. Oh, tonight we are going to live like a duchess. And a Dutch! <laughs> <laughs> Ready, madam. Ready, Cassie. Ready, mum. <laughs> Ready, Alba. <laughs> oh, good. Shah, will you please open the door for Mr. Smith? Certainly, madam. <laughs> My name is Smith, John Smith. Oh, how do you do, sir? I'm Charles, the butler, sir. <laughs> the butler? Uh, yes, sir. Allow me, sir. And uh, shall I have the maid put this on ice? Oh, no, that's all right. I need the maid. <laughs> yes, sir. The master is home. Hello, darling. Come in, come in, come in. You sit down. Well, first, I think I'll fall down. Let me... Would you and the master like some more doofus, ma'am? Well, you misunderstood my phone call. I said I left the company. The company was not left to me. Yes, well, but you also said that you want to leave tonight, and this is really leaving, no? Oh, Angel, is it... <laughs> Who is that? Oh, I'm Sasha, the gypsy governor. <laughs> And uh, shall I lay out your dress clothes, sir, and draw your bath? 
Wait, 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 just, just a minute. Honey, have you gone out of your mind? I can't afford to... Sasha? <laughs> yes, Governor. Uh, something special you'd like to hear? Yeah, I'd like to hear how I'm gonna pay all you people. Oh, but we don't have to pay them, Johnny. This is all on the roof. <laughs> on the house? <laughs> on the house? <laughs> So we're donating our services for the evening. How did you manage? I tell you that little. Oh, you like my surprise as that? Well, I've never been so surprised I did it in my life. <laughs> and here we go. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Cassie. Cassie. And uh, shall I draw your bath, sir? Oh, well, uh, please do, Charles. <laughs> do you like it hottish or coolish? <laughs> Just make it uh, lookish you want. <laughs> No more. We'd be too exhausted for the fox hunt in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Is this the Smith residence? Yes, sir, it is. Whom shall I say is calling? Mr. Clyde. Yeah, uh, Mr. Clyde to see you, sir. <laughs> Good evening, Smith. Well, uh, uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Clive. This is a surprise. I was hoping it would be. Yeah. Well, um, this is my wife, Angelique. Uh, honey, this is Mr. Clyde. I believe you've heard me speak of him. Yes, I heard you. And you let me tell you something. Well, nice little setup you have here, Smith. Yeah. I admire your philosophy. Live for today, for tomorrow you may be caught. <laughs> Some special occasion, a birthday, an anniversary, Jesse James Memorial oh, Day. Oh, oh, just a relaxed, normal evening at home. <laughs> Would you care to take potluck with us? Or shall I have the maid set another place at table, sir? Oh, uh, don't bother. I really must be running along. Good night, Daddy Warbox. <laughs> Play, Sasha. For a chop. Sasha must have forgotten his bow. Shall I answer the door, madam? Oh, please, oh, do, sir. Hello, Johnny. Oh, Mr. Nelson, uh, uh, to come in. Uh... Hello, Angel. Uh, excuse me for stopping by so late, but I just had to apologize. I finally found that deficit. No kidding. Who was it? Clyde. The big boob. He forgot to include his own salary. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> then nothing is missing? Only Mr. Clyde. I don't know why I hired that guy in the first place. He stops at nothing. You should have heard the wild story he tried to tell me about you. Said you were living here with a butler and a maid. And a gypsy violinist. Well, actually, uh, say that is a wild story, isn't it? <laughs> 